Ronnie Rosenthal is playing for keeps. Another for Liverpool's on loan Israeli international, but Liverpool forfeit a two-goal lead against Forest. So Aston Villa gain ground. Gordon Cowens against Chelsea. They played a game more, but are only one point adrift. Mick Harford's goals for Derby means that Millwall's two-year term in the first division is over. Millwall are relegated. What a week for Manchester United, FA Cup finalists and First Division security. Neil Webb with the winner at Queen's Park Rangers. In the Scottish Cup, the holders Celtic are through to the final again. Andy Walker with two, but it was no easy ride against First Division Clyde Bank. But it was a stroll for Aberdeen against Dundee United. Brian Irvin keeps them on course for a Scottish Cup double. 4-0 the score. It's Aberdeen against Celtic in the final. Very good afternoon to you. We have goal action coming up. That's from Villa Park, Aston Villa, uh, winning by a goal to nil against Chelsea. And we have a remarkable cricket story as well for you uh, momentarily. Just let me tell you the score in the, the fifth test. Uh, England, in their first innings, are 249 for 8 at the moment. Scores and scorers in the key games in England and in Scotland this afternoon. Liverpool 2, Nottingham Forest 2, Ronnie Rosenthal put uh, Liverpool ahead. Steve McMahon got another after uh, 15 minutes, two minutes after Rosenthal's. But Nottingham Forest, with two goals in the second half, got a point. Steve Hodge and Nigel Jemson. And that means Forest have taken two points now from their last 24. But a much encouraging result for them at Anfield this afternoon. Villa 1, Chelsea 0, the goal coming up. We move on to uh, Derby 2, Millwall 0, Millwall down, 2 for Mick Harford. Southampton 3, Charlton 2, Southampton were 3-0 up, Neil Ruddock got a couple early on, and uh, Jimmy Case also scored, 3-0 it was at half-time, and then Andy Jones and Tommy Caton hit back for Charlton, but that looks uh, as if they will be joining Millwall in the second division next season. As will Luton, probably. Ian Dowie gave them a 2-0 lead against Everton, who came back uh, with Tony Cotty's 12th in 13 games and also Graham Sharp after 78. Manchester City 2, Sheffield Wednesday 1. Niall Quinn uh, got the first after 22 minutes. David Hurst equalised for Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, the City winner from substitute Adrian Heath, his first since joining them from Aston Villa. Queen's Park Rangers 1, Manchester United 2, Justin Channing after 34 minutes and uh, Mark Robbins who put United uh, into the FA Cup final at Wembley, he got the equaliser after coming on a substitute, 69 minutes gone, Neil Webb got the winner and that means United have won their last three in the league and Queen's Park Rangers have lost their last four. Crystal Palace 1. Arsenal won. Arsenal going in front through Martin Hayes, 16 minutes. Andy Gray equalising for Palace after 83, but uh, bad news for Steve Cobble's team. Andy Thorne uh, was carried off with a suspected broken leg. If that's confirmed, then clearly he'll miss the FA Cup final. Spurs 3, Tottenham, uh, Spurs 3, Coventry 2. Coventry, in fact, were two goals up through David Smith and David Speedy. Gary Lineker equalised after 38. And then Paul Stewart, who scored in the last four games, uh, he got the equaliser just after half-time. And Gary Lineker uh, with the winner, 69 minutes, his 24th of the season. Wimbledon 1, Norwich 1. That's a result. Mark Bowen, three and three games for him, put Norwich in front after 43 minutes. Uh, John Fashionu equalising 56. The key games now, the top of Division 2. Sheffield United have beaten Oxford. That means they are now level at the top with Leeds. Uh, Booker and Ford are known goal. There's uh, Bob Booker who put them in front after 66. John Durnin was the Oxford scorer. And uh, Newcastle United are moving up. They've won their last five now. Kevin Scott it was who got uh, the winning goal at Wolves after 29 minutes. Swindon 2, Watford 0, Duncan Shearer 63, his 25th of the season, and then Steve White after 70. That takes uh, their tally to 74, Swindon, the top scorers in the top two divisions. Bradford 0, Blackburn 1, looks like being a priceless away victory for Blackburn Rovers. Uh, they've got an own goal to thank, Gavin Oliver, 39 minutes, one win in seven for Bradford, next to bottom this morning. And Sunderland 0, Hull 1, a setback for the Rokerites. 
Peter Swan after 21 minutes for Hull. Sunderland were fifth this morning. Scottish Cup semi-finals, the Tenants Scottish Cup, Clydebank nil, Celtic two, both goals to, uh, Ab uh, to Andy Walker, Dundee United nil, Aberdeen four in the other semi-final at Tyne Castle, uh, Irving two, Van der Horn own goal and Hans Heelhouse making it a very emphatic 4-0 for Aberdeen. Right, some cricket now and another amazing bust-up involving the West Indies captain Viv Richards. The West Indies skipper stormed into the press box and confronted the Daily Express reporter James Lawton just before the scheduled start of play on the second morning of the final test in Antigua. Richards, who had a, a verbal bust-up with Lawton yesterday, uh, pointed an accusing finger and said, You wrote bad things about me. I'm in a very angry mood this morning. Anyone who gets in my way had better be careful. The row lasted ten minutes. Richards, in fact, was still in the press box when the West Indies took the field, uh, but play was interrupted after just nine minutes by rain, and Richards was back in the action by the time England lost their first wicket of the day. Jack Russell for seven, and Phil De Freitas for 21. England are now 249 for eight. No change from uh, what I told you just at the start of the programme. It's raining again. Now, in the more peaceful surroundings of the Crucible in Sheffield, England's Dean Reynolds staged an action replay to reach the last 16 of Snooker's Embassy World Championship, repeating last year's 10-7 first round win over South African Peter Francisco, and now meets uh, the second seed, John Parrott. Well, back to football. Uh, as I told you, Liverpool uh, squandered a two-goal lead to only draw at home in Nottingham Forest this afternoon. Meanwhile, Aston Villa, uh, at home to Chelsea, moved to within a point of the leaders by winning by a goal to nil. Commentator Martin Tyler. Flat. There's a run on for Cascarino here. He's onside. And Erlen Jonsson made up some ground but didn't have the strength really Tony Cascarino beaten away by Besson followed in by Gordon Cowans and Aston Villa have scored Gordon Cowans, Gordon Cowans third goal of the season giving Villa maximum points this afternoon full classified check now on all the results uh, north and south of the border with Bob Colston thanks Elton and we begin with Barclays League Division 1 Aston Villa 1, Chelsea 0 Crystal Palace 1, Arsenal 1 Derby County 2, Millwall 0. Not on the Pools, Liverpool 2, Nottingham Forest 2. Luton 2, Everton 2. Manchester City 2, Sheffield Wednesday 1. Queen's Park Rangers 1, Manchester United 2. Southampton 3, Charlton 2. Tottenham 3, Coventry 2. And Wimbledon 1, Norwich 1. Division 2, Barnsley 1, West Ham 1. Bradford City 0, Blackburn 1, Brighton 0, West Bromwich Albion 3, Ipswich 3, Port Vale 2, Leicester 1, Portsmouth 1, Plymouth 1, Bournemouth 0, Sheffield United 2, Oxford United 1, Stoke 0, Middlesbrough 0, Sunderland 0, Hull 1, Swindon 2, Watford 0, and Wolves 0, Newcastle 1. Division 3, Bolton 1, Tranmere 1, Bristol Rovers 2, Rotherham 0, Chester 0, Northampton 1, Fulham 1, Birmingham 2, Huddersfield 2, Blackpool 2, Lake Norrient 2, Bury 3, Mansfield 1, Wigan 0, Notts County 2, Crewe 0, Preston 2, Bristol City 2, Reading 0, Cardiff 1. Swansea against Shrewsbury is a late result. And Walsall 2, Brentford 1. Division 4, Aldershot 0, Maidstone 2. Burnley against Cambridge United is a late result. Doncaster 1, Chesterfield 0. Gillingham 0, Hereford 1. Hartlepool 0, Colchester 2. Lincoln 0, Scarborough 0. Peterborough 3, Halifax 0. Scunthorpe 3, Wrexham 1. Southend 3, Rochdale 2. The games between Stockport and Grimsby and Torquay and Exeter are both late results. And York 0, Carlisle 1. GM Vauxhall Conference, these games not on the pools. Cheltenham 2, Kidderminster 1. Chorley against Merthyr Tidville is a late result. Darlington 0, Wickham 1. Enfield 1, Yeovil 1. 
Farnborough nil, Northwich one. Fisher against Sutton United is also a late result. Kettering nil, Macclesfield nil. Rancorn three, Boston one. And Welling one, Telford one. HFS Loans League, Premier Division. Buxton nil, Gateshead four. Carnarvon nil, Matlock nil. Fleetwood four, Gainsborough one. Frickley one, Southport two. Goul nil, Morecambe five. And Marine three, Bangor City three. Tennant Scottish Cup, semi finals, not on the pools, these matches. Clydebank nil, Celtic two. And Dundee United nil, Aberdeen four. PQ Scottish League, Premier Division, again not on the pools. Dundee 1, St Mirren 2, Dunfermline 0, Hearts 1, and Rangers 2, Motherwell 1. Scottish Division 1, Airdrie 1, Meadowbank 1, Alloa 0, Wraith 4, Air 0, Albion Rovers 2, Clyde 0, Falkirk 0, Forfa 2, Partick Thistle 0, and Hamilton Morton not on the pools as a late result. Scottish Division 2, Berwick 1, East Stirling 0. Two matches not on the pools, Dumbarton 1, Cowden B 3, and East Fife 1, Brecon 3. Montrose 0, Queen's Park 1. Two not on the pools, Queen of the South 0, Stenhouse Muir 4, and Stirling 3, Arbroath 2, and the final match, Stranraer against Kilmarnock, is a late result. Thanks, Bob. Here are the score draws. Two, four... 9, 10, 14, 21, 25, 29, 50 and 51 and 4 no score draws, 17, 38, 46 and 54. Well, I think most people uh, in football would have fancied Liverpool to win this afternoon at home against Nottingham Forest who'd taken only one point out of the previous 21 available. Well, Liverpool built up a big lead, but Forrest came back to equalise. Kev Keating's reports from Anfield. A sensational second half comeback from Nottingham Forest, who were outplayed and two down at half time to a rampant Liverpool, ahead through Ronnie Rosenthal with his fourth goal in two games and Steve McMahon inside the first quarter of an hour. There could have been more, but we weren't prepared for this second half forest resurgence. Hodge pulled one back on 62 minutes, and after Liverpool's defence went walkabouts, Nigel Jensen equalised seven minutes later. But for the crossbar and two incredible Stuart Pearce goal line clearances, Liverpool would have won it, but Kenny Dalglish will be a far from happy man tonight as Forrest came back to steal only their second point in eight games. Final score, Liverpool two, Nottingham Forest two. Well, there we go. Uh, Liverpool with a game in hand, but their lead only one point now. Should be quite a match. Next Wednesday, Liverpool away to Arsenal. And at the bottom of the first division, Sheffield Wednesday, in fact, dropped three places after losing at Main Road. But it really does look now as if it's the bottom three who'll go down. Millwall definitely are. Well, the other second division uh, news today, Trevor Morley kept West Ham's hopes of a playoff spot alive when he cancelled out Jerry Taggart's early strike for a point at Barnsley. At the bottom, Tommy Tynan scored from the penalty spot to ease the pressure on Plymouth, who sneaked the points against Bournemouth. But more gloom for Alan Ball's bottom club, Stoke. They surrendered two precious points against fellow strugglers Middlesbrough in a goalless draw at the Victoria ground. Let's have a look at the top and the bottom of the uh, second division then. Uh, this afternoon, Stoke still rooted at the bottom with Bradford and Middlesbrough just above them. Leeds and Sheffield United on the same number of points with Newcastle uh, three points behind. Right, in Scotland, it's all over by the celebrating at Ibrox after Rangers 2-1 win against Motherwell. Only Cup finalists Aberdeen and Hearts, who beat them firmly today, can stop re Rangers retaining their title and only that on goal difference. Right, on ITV tonight, 11.15, uh, the WBA middleweight championship of the world, Mike McCallum against Michael Watson. Join Jim Rosenthal then. Tonight, just after 11 o'clock on ITV, I'll be fighting Mike McCallum for the world middleweight championship. Keep tuned in if you want to watch a devastating performance.